Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to do a demonstration for my pattern on how to crochet a cowl neck cape. So let's get started. The collar is worked in the moss stitch and you can either just have a collar that stands up or you can roll it down like this. I'm working with worsted weight yarn and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. So you're going to start with a slip knot. You're going to start with a foundation chain that is to the following number of stitches. And then you're going to slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. Slip stitch to join. Now chain one. And in that same stitch, make one single crochet. And I'm going to work in the moss stitch, so chain one. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. Chain one. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. And you're going to repeat all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around and I've reached the end of the row. There's my first single crochet. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to slip stitch to join in that first single crochet. So now I'm going to slip stitch into the next chain one space and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to make a single crochet in that same stitch. Chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one single crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, single crochet. And repeat all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around at the end of the row. There's my first single crochet. Chain one, slip stitch into that first single crochet. Now every row will be the same until you have the neck as tall as you would like. So you, again, you just slip stitch into the next chain one space, chain one, single crochet in that same space, chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space, and you're going to work all the way around. So you'll just continue to work row after row until the cowl collar, or just a regular collar, is as long as you would like and I have worked 12 rows so now I'm going to go and show you how to do this row okay so this would be your collar and it would be as long as you would like and I have slip stitch to join in the first single crochet so now I'm going to chain four one two three four and that's going to take the place of an extended double crochet in a chain one space so I'm going to make an extended double crochet in the same space. So we yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through. Now normally to make a double crochet you would pick up the yarn and pull it through both loops. For an extended double crochet you pick up the yarn you only pull through that first loop. And then you continue your double crochet as though it were a regular double crochet. And that will give you the height of a triple crochet, but you'll only use as much yarn as you would use for a double crochet. So now in every stitch across the row, I'm going to make this V stitch with extended double crochet. So every stitch, so that means in every single crochet and in every chain one space. So there's my chain one space. So I'm going to make an extended double crochet, come through one loop, come through two loops, come through two loops, and now chain one, and in the same stitch make another extended double crochet. So pick up the yarn and pull it through, then only pull through one loop, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. And that's a V stitch. Now in every stitch across the row, that's what I'm going to do. So this is my single crochet, and there's my chain one space, so I'm going to work into my single crochet. And I'm going to make an extended double crochet and a chain one and another extended double crochet in the same stitch. So 
in the same stitch. So now I'll go to the chain one space and do the same thing. And I'm going to do that all the way across the row. Okay, so work all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. Here's my last extended double crochet. And I'm going to slip stitch to join in the third stitch of that chain four. Slip stitch to join. And you'll have three times as many stitches as you had for the collar. And now every row is going to be exactly the same. Find the next chain one space and slip stitch into that space. And now you're going to make a V stitch in every chain one space across the row. So chain four, one, two, three, four. And that takes the place of the first extended double crochet in the chain one space. Make one more extended double crochet in that same space. And now find the next chain one space and you'll have two together there and then the chain one space and make a V stitch in there. Like that. And then all the way across the row in every chain one space of every V stitch, you'll make a V stitch. Okay, so all the way around, and then you just continue to add more and more rows until your cape is as long as you would like it to be. Like that, and I have completed eight rows of V stitches. And that's it, that's how easy it is to crochet this cowl neck cape. Thanks for watching, bye for now.